Good morning. It's turning into quite a wet month for many of us. Take last week, for instance, where across the southwest of England and some eastern parts of England, some places recorded about a month's worth of rain in just 12 hours. And we're moving into another spell of wet and windy weather at the moment that's going to last through Monday and into Tuesday too. Some heavy rain around, could be a couple of inches of rain or more. And that rain is moving its way northwards at the moment and it's gr going to grind to a halt across parts of Scotland, Northern England and Northern Ireland. And it's here that we have a high risk of disruption. Now bringing all this miserable weather is this deep area of low pressure that's in the southwest. That's going to drive its way across the whole of the UK. It eventually clears away from the northeast by Wednesday and we get a brief respite before more weather systems come in from off the Atlantic and maintain this very unsettled theme. So the cloud, the rain bringing the change today, moving up fairly quickly from the southwest. The rain is starting to turn a little bit heavier across the southwest right now. And that wetter weather will continue to move northwards across England and Wales, across Northern Ireland. It'll turn wetter across these western areas and we could well see some sleet and snow over the mountains from North Wales northwards. Hint of something a little bit drier and brighter here in the southeast, but the sunnier weather hanging on across the northern half of Scotland with a few wintry showers. It's going to feel cold today though, temperatures really struggling to six or seven in quite a few places. It'll feel colder as the winds start to pick up as well. We'll see the stronger of the winds pushing northwards into Scotland overnight, the wetter weather moving northwards as well, giving some snow over the mountains. We'll also see a line of quite heavy rain moving its way eastwards across England and Wales, some squally winds followed in turn by some rather blustery showers. So quite wet probably for many of us during the evening and overnight but turning milder across England and Wales, still that chilly weather there though across Scotland and Northern Ireland. And we're going to find that persistent rain hanging on across a large part of Scotland, Northern Ireland, northernmost parts of England during Monday. It's going to feel cold, it's going to be windy as well. Elsewhere for the rest of England and Wales, it's still a very unsettled picture. We're going to find some brief brighter interludes, but there'll also be a fair number of showers, some of them heavy, blustery, possibly even a rumble or two of thunder in there as well. But quite a range of temperatures. It's going to feel much warmer across many parts of England and Wales as the winds change direction into the south or southwest. Similar sort of mix for Tuesday, again very unsettled, often windy, some showers, some longer spells of rain. Signs of that more persistent rain in the north just sneaking away during Tuesday night into Wednesday as the low drives clear, taking the worst of the rain away from the northeast and the strong winds away as well. And then a brief respite, a little bit quieter, cooler in the south but brighter with some sunshine, a few showers in the north and the west. But then we see some more systems coming in from off the Atlantic during uh, later Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Goodbye.